Hi, I'm Amber Kylick with Critical Movement Coaching. I'm here to talk to you about kind of what we do, one of the things we do in a movement for pain management class. So what we do is blend the critical alignment therapy with some natural movement. We do move, we do work on getting the body stronger, but we also talk about and consciously work on listening for the whispers of sensation. So one thing that happens when we have chronic pain is that the nervous system does send us signals, right? We're used to touching something, it's hot, we pull away, we've got that immediate thing. So when you have an injury, we do get that. Now, two things happen. So over time, over time, the tissues heal. Now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I could start talking about in terms of your tissues healing with chronic pain, but we do have to remember that over time, tissues will heal. Unfortunately, what happens is our nervous system starts getting sensitized to telling us we're in pain, to deal with it. So as much as we get these little niggles of sensation with pain at first, and we're like, oh yeah, that hurts, I should deal with that. The nervous system, we start ignoring those little niggles and the nervous system starts going, they're not listening. We need to make these louder. Okay. So that's when our nervous system starts sensitizing our pain pathways and giving us stronger alarms. Now, sometimes it gets to the point where these alarms are going off like fire bells. Okay. I'm sure you have an idea of what that might feel like in your body. Now, even just me talking about that, your body might be going, oh yeah. Okay. So we need to start listening to and paying attention to those little niggling whispers of sensation that start. Now, those little whispers might not be a movement that we do. Okay. It might be a thought that we have of, oh, I have to do that later. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, I need to deal with that. It might be just this buildup of stress that stress isn't good or bad, okay? Or stress can be good or bad, okay? So we can talk about that in a whole other lecture. And we do talk about it in the Movement for Pain Management classes, okay? But what we need to do is start paying attention to what those whispers of sensation may be triggered from, okay? So we take, we talk about how the nervous system sets up this alarm system, and then we slow things down and start trying to pay attention or getting that awareness of the whispers of sensation before the alarm goes off. So what we do in movement for pain management is we slow things down. It's not going to be a class where you come and I give you a ton of exercises. You're going to get stronger. You're going to get more mobile. You will, but we also have a lot of other stuff to work on. Okay. So we've got movement for pain management for the knee, the spine, and the shoulders in particularly for those areas. If the class times don't work for you, I do record them those recordings get sent out to all the participants. I do encourage all participants to, um, to interact with me, let me know what works, what didn't work, what their injuries are, um, their feedback, any aha moments that may happen. I love those moments. Um, so if you have any questions, feedback, comments, let me know, shoot me an email. You can reach me through Instagram, you can reach me through Facebook, you can even reach me through YouTube. And we will chat with you soon. Thank you.